Meanwhile, Russia has taken over the presidency of the BRICS group and Moscow may establish a new BRICS secretariat. Now, this according to media reports quoting Iran's deputy foreign minister Mahdi Safari. BRICS has just announced a spine-chilling plan for 2024 that's bound to reshape the world order. We are on principles of equality, partnership, and стратегического курса нашего объединения, курса, отвечающего чаянием основной части мирового сообщества, так называемого глобального большинства. Let's talk about BRICS. It's gearing up to challenge a West-led world order. And India is at the forefront of this conversation. Listen in to what Jay Shankar said. Our gathering must send out a strong message that the world is multipolar, that it is rebalancing, and that old ways cannot address new situations. But what could BRICS possibly have up its sleeve, and how will it reshape the world order and impact your daily life? Is this collaboration a force for good, or does it hide a darker agenda? Next Generation Economics brings you the latest economic, financial, and global news from different parts of the world. If you enjoy learning about different topics around the world, then we are sure you are going to find this video interesting. In this video, we'll unravel the details of this groundbreaking strategy and explore its potential implications for the world in 2024. Watch this video to the end and find out the hidden layers behind BRIC's mysterious agenda. Let's get started. First things first, BRICS represents Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, nations aiming for a more significant role in the global financial arena. Displeased with the outcomes of the 15th General Review of the International Monetary Fund, also known as the IMF, in 2019, they sought more influence, a reasonable ask. Fast forward to August 23, 2023, during the 15th BRICS summit, a bombshell was dropped. Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE were joining the alliance. This strategic move aims to enhance financial collaboration within the BRICS group. They are particularly focused on fostering discussions about payments to facilitate smoother trade and investments, not only among themselves but also with other developing nations. The announcement is poised to reshape the financial dynamics of 2024, marking a significant shift in global economic cooperation. Let's now delve into the details of this game-changing decision and understand why it holds the potential to transform the financial landscape this year. Looking forward, with Russia hosting in 2024 and Brazil in 2025, there's hopeful anticipation among experts for some serious teamwork. Many are crossing their fingers, speculating that the next BRICS summit in Russia might unveil a shared currency among the member nations. But first, let's rewind a bit. BRICS, initially comprising Brazil, Russia, India, and China, coined the term 22 years ago. Now it has expanded to include 11 nations, collectively holding a substantial share of the global economy, 44% in oil production, 36% in gas production, and more. Despite their impressive real-world contributions, their role in the global financial system remains relatively small. The U.S. and its allies still dominate the foreign exchange market with the U.S. dollar representing a staggering 88% share. So, what's the deal? BRICS is eyeing a larger slice of the global financial pie that aligns with their significant contributions. To achieve this, they are contemplating the establishment of their own multilateral settlement system, effectively breaking away from the Western-dominated infrastructure. It's a bold move that could potentially reshape the entire financial landscape. If successful, this could mark a significant shift in the global financial power play, challenging the current status quo and paving the way for BRICS to flex their muscles on the international stage. Their idea? Why not have their own payment system? And so, enter BRICS Pay, their very own payment system. Now, Here's the intriguing part. Many are speculating whether BRICS Pay is laying the groundwork for something even bigger, a completely new currency for BRICS in 2024. So why the big push for a new currency? Well, the countries within the BRICS bloc are eager to decrease their dependence on the US dollar. And they're not just talking about it. They are making serious moves to turn this vision into reality. 
Throughout this year, we've witnessed the BRICS nations coming together, forming a united front against the Western economic giants and engaging in significant economic teamwork. Yet challenging the global dominance of the US dollar is no small feat. Currently, almost half of the world's payments are still conducted in the greenback. Now, let's zoom in on BRICS Pay. Its introduction is seen as a strategic move by these nations to shift away from the established SWIFT system. It's part of a larger plan to shake up the global financial dynamics. Talks are swirling around how BRICS Pay could be a game changer in the de-dollarization game. Essentially, it's seen as the first significant step in bidding farewell to the US dollar in developing economies. Although the idea of a full-fledged BRICS currency by 2024 may seem a bit futuristic, it's not entirely implausible. BRICS Pay is seen as the initial spark that could ignite a more substantial shift. Now, why would a new currency be such a significant move? Well, imagine it as a way for BRICS nations to have more control and autonomy over their financial transactions. Currently, the US dollar holds sway over a large portion of the world's financial dealings. With BRICS Pay, there's potential for a rebalance this power dynamic. Imagine creating an ultra-smooth payment system for international deals, and then, just maybe, introducing a whole new currency. That's the intriguing path BRICS nations are considering. But it's essential to understand that this isn't just about economic transactions, it's a strategic move. Now, let's dive into the new players gearing up to join BRICS in 2024. Iran takes the top spot on the list, likely because of its close ties to Russia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is also jumping on board, along with the Federal Republic of Ethiopia and the United Arab Emirates. Iran's official entry into the BRICS alliance holds significant implications. Firstly, it acts as a shield against pesky imposed sanctions on Iran. This move toughens the stand against sanctions meddling with Iran's economy. Joining the BRICS gang also gives Iran a substantial boost in the political and soft power realms. Picture this, deeper connections between Beijing, Moscow, and Tehran. These three powerhouses are essentially the architects of a new world order. With Iran officially in the mix, you can expect some serious collaboration and teamwork. But it's not just about these three buddies. BRICS membership is like a golden ticket for Iran to expand its global friendships. Making new connections with other regions is about to become a whole lot easier. The interesting part? Iran being part of BRICS is a bold statement against the West's economic war tactics. It's a big checkmate move, showing that the West's attempts to isolate Iran aren't working. Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, has been pushing for stronger ties with neighbors and Asian powers since 2021. These nations together make up over $30 trillion in GDP, nearly 30% of the world's total. Now, add Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Iran to the mix, and that's a game changer in the oil production game, making up a whopping 43%. With the world closely watching oil prices due to conflicts in West Asia, this could give Iran, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Russia even more power in the energy game. Now, let's dive into the values that drive BRICS nations, including Iran. While some in the West might not give them enough credit, the truth is that these nations are more in tune with the voices of their people. It's not just about power for them. They stand up against injustice, like the Israeli regime's actions in Gaza. It's a statement that real power comes from the people. In a nutshell, Iran joining BRICS is like breaking free from the shackles of sanctions, boosting political influence, strengthening bonds with major players, expanding global friendships, and giving the West a, a reality check. It's a bold move, and we're in for some interesting times ahead. The current BRICS members are welcoming the new entrance, seeing it as a boost in their economic and military strength on the global stage. However, some of the new members, especially Saudi Arabia, have deep ties to the West, notably through the use of the petrodollar. It's exciting to see how they navigate their current Western-leaning economies to align with the goals of the BRICS alliance. A significant challenge for BRICS lies in economic cooperation. Currently, each BRICS nation trades in its own currency, and there's a need to move away from the dominance of the dollar. This might involve coming up with a common currency for easier trade among members. The cool thing is that this plan doesn't force anyone to ditch their local currencies. It's more of a group effort under the BRICS umbrella. And guess what? The new development bank might play a role in this whole mission to replace the US dollar. 
If all goes well, we could witness some serious currency action from BRICS in 2024. BRICS nations working together in economic and military cooperation would mean mutually beneficial engagement, ushering in a multipolar world. BRICS nations are seeking to engage as equal partners, signaling a departure from the current unipolar world dominated by the United States. This shift aims to reduce Western dominance in global trade and global affairs, paving the way for a more balanced and collaborative international landscape. In